To save money shopping online, ditch the traditional ads. Instead, log on to your Facebook and friend your favorite store, because this year many retailers are sending their best deals directly to their followers. There is a strong police presence above the ground and on it in downtown with now seven rival motorcycle clubs here. They tell us, though, they're not here for a fight, but won't shy away from one either. Good morning, Tom. An unlucky day on this Friday the 13th for some, but for the folks in line this morning, they're calling it a lucky day, Aaron, simply because they'll be able to get their wristband so they can get the swine flu vaccine. Our newsroom is in overdrive this morning, covering several breaking stories. First, word out of Washington state that the man accused of killing four police officers has himself been shot and killed. Now, turning to state politics and infighting among Republicans, one group from Nevada's grand old party is calling on one of their own to step down from the U.S. Senate race. People are telling us via Twitter that they're experiencing negative 11 in Fernley, Earrington at one point this morning, negative 17 degrees. Ron will detail how long these freezing cold temperatures will last. Astronomers are marveling at a new discovery from one of Saturn's moons. Turns out the moon Phoebe has the largest ring in our solar system. I know this is a little confusing, but try and stay with us here. So we have we have a chart for you. Here I just is say, Saturn. Their artist rendering is better than yours, but but here I can make I can make it clear. Right. Here is Saturn. Saturn's normal rings that we can see are in black, right? So here's the ring that we can't see. I made it in blue because yeah. it's made up of ice and whatnot. Oops, so the moon Phoebe is like way out here on this sort it's of trajectory, and this is its ice particles and dust that are, are circling behind it. Uh, it's within the orbit of Phoebe. Isn't that fascinating? And this space here is something like eight million miles. Incredible. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> this doesn't happen to you, it happens to someone else. The 3,000 residents of Wells never thought they'd see slot machines literally ripped off the walls. Nearby, the early breakfast crowd fled as the food, the plates, and the bottles of liquor crashed to the floor when the 6.0 quake hit. Things just start falling and cabinets are flying open and dishes flying out and um, stuff falling off the walls. <laughs> But the worst of the damage happened in the town's historic district. I, I think I'm living a nightmare and I, I almost an out-of-body experience. That nightmare for Esther Quillacy started when she found her family's drugstore, along with every other building along Front Street, crumbled to the ground. So I don't believe really what happened. That shock reflected around town with each toppled chimney and each destroyed car. Emergency response crews say no building escaped damage. Lisa Graves' home literally split apart. Just woke up screaming. And firefighters say that huge crack means she won't be able to return anytime soon. The only hot meal in town tonight could be found at the middle school, a chance to reflect on the day and plan what to do tomorrow. I'm very confident that we have the right tools in place now to start rebuilding. Under the overpass, she would never guess what's hiding in the dark spaces. A welcome mat. Now, this person definitely has been here a while, and that's this is their home. Sheriff's Deputy Armando Avino works with Washoe County's homeless and knows where to go to count them. He's one of about 20 people gathered to count the homeless. As required by the federal government, they do it during the last week of January. Folks at the end of the month often have run out of money. Um, if they're getting disability or they're getting some sort of public assistance, those dollars are gone. Back under the overpass, we find remnants of beds. How many people normally stay up here with you? That's what we would consider a camp right there, where somebody would have their sleeping bag and whatever other, uh, uh, some, maybe some, some food up there. Next, we're heading toward the waste management site in Reno. The word is that there's a lot of people sleeping inside these dumpsters. They're a little warmer, but you can also remember that they're used for trash. You doing all right, sir? Yes, sir. One of five living in and amongst the All dumpsters. Right. An Good offer of help there. and a business card, and we are off. The sun is starting to rise on the east border of Washoe County. One last opportunity to count people, people living along the Truckee River. But last time I was here, I probably ran into about 13, 14 people. This time there are three, but it's a cold winter morning, and when the weather warms up, more will probably move in.